My goal is to give you the timely insights and tips to help you master the game of finance, so ultimately help you achieve your financial goals. Hi, I'm Connie from Prosperity Finance. Now, in my last video, I talked about some challenges people are facing when it comes to property development. Now, in today's uh, video, I actually have a good news to share with you. That's for people who are going to do a small uh, development projects uh, with uh, four or less new dwelling, and the cost is less than two mil. Um, ANZ has um, recently um, reviewed their property development loan policy, and um, they had a new policy which can significantly reduce your finance costs. So today I'm going to um, explain that policy and see if that um, would help you with your projects. So before this new policy, uh, if you're going to develop property um, for two or more dwellings, or the cost is more than 1.2 mil, at ANZ, this type of application will be sent up to commercial team for assessment. Now, the downside with commercial team is that, uh, firstly, it taking ages because they have a lot of um, uh, project they are assessing from you know from 1.2 up to you know um, 30 mil or even more. So it's a variety of projects. So they have to prioritize. Um, it can take a long time. Now, especially now, a lot of people are interested in property developments. So they are very pumped. <laughs> it just makes the turnaround even worse. The second thing is, um, if you um, have to be assessed by commercial team, that means your finance cost will be uh, more than if you get assessed at retail team. Uh, at commercial team, you will be charged about 2% um, for application fee and line fee. So line fee is basically cover the funds that to be drawn down. They have to get return for their money, so they charge you a line fee. So in total, you have to pay 2%. And the annual interest rate at the moment is about four something percent. Um, so it's definitely more expensive than the retail interest rates, especially some banks introduce very low uh, floating rates for new built, like the ANZ blueprint to build. Uh, at the moment, as at today, the floating rate is only 1.83. And like ASB also have a similar deal, um, but commercial don't have that type of deal. Um, so. Uh, now they have reviewed uh, their lending policy because commercial team uh, just can't handle this volume. And uh, given uh, the cost of the construction has gone up, um, so 1.2 uh, as a threshold for construction costs, it's nothing, right? It's really easy to uh, succeed that, um, uh, that uh, budget. Uh, well, the project probably is straightforward. So now ANZ had this new initiative for... Um, Devel development with four dwellings or less, and the, the cost excluding the land cost is no more than two mil, and you have a fixed price contract. As long as you borrow uh, no more than 60% of the finished value, they have a great deal for you. And on top of that, you will have this blueprint to build uh, pricing. So this 1.83% and no fees, it's just the interest rate 1.83. So that's fantastic news, um, given you know all the costs associated with the property developments are now going up. This is definitely a wel welcome news. So that's significant savings in terms of finance costs and also speed up the um, application process, probably down to two weeks as opposed to two months maybe. So what are the criteria for that? Um, I probably already uh, kind of mentioned most of them. So firstly, it has to be um, the developments that the new build is uh, four dwellings or less. So it's relatively small projects. And the cost of the whole projects, excluding the land cost, can't be over two mil. If it's two, two mil, uh, if over two mil, it has to be um, commercial team to assist. Um, and the um, LVR, the loan to value ratio, need to be 60% of the finished value or as if value. So let's say you have four new dwellings, each one will be worth $1 million. 
in today's value. So um, in total will be four mil. So as long as the uh, the loan size is less, is no more than two point four mil, then you'll be fine. Um, but if your intention is to sell some of the property, uh, then they have to take out the GST from the value. So there will be less than 2.4. It depends on your intention. Um, so that's pretty much the main criteria. Not much, right? So some people would be eligible for that. Um, just so you know, you still need a QS uh, for these type of projects. Um, same as commercial team, you will need QS. So basically QS, um, it at your own cost, but they kind of work for the bank. So they basically will certify the project cost in the beginning. And then uh, when it comes to progress drawdown, they will certify uh, the invoices and they provide the report to the bank. Just let the bank know how the project's tracking. Um, what is the cost to complete uh, look like, etc. So help the bank to manage uh, the projects uh, and minimize the risk. So that's still required. And uh, the fixed price contract is still required. I know it's a challenge to get the fixed price, but um, yeah, if you can, um, you will be able to meet that criteria. So the main benefits, as I said, are two. One is significant saving of your finance cost. Um, you don't have to pay fees and the interest rates are much lower. And the second uh, benefit is a fast turnaround for approval. So who would uh, benefit um, most from this? Uh, obviously people looking to develop their, uh, develop their um, projects, uh, develop their property. Um, so if you are going to build, uh, you know, between one and four, that's good, but just be in mind if you're going to build four, uh, you have to be really careful working out your cost. Now, I did a really rough calculation for four dwellings. Um, let's say the subdivision is going to cost uh, half million dollars, so you only have 1.5 million to play around for construction costs and other costs, right? Like marketing costs. Um, so I use 1.5 mil divided by four, that equals to $335,000. Now, if I use um, a rough estimate of uh, 2,800 uh, per square meter, uh, then your average dwelling would be around 130 square meter. So that's not a big house at all. Um, if they had this policy early this year, um, the building cost was significantly less uh, then the current cost, then potentially you could um, really easily fit if you built four. Um, the floor area can be like 200 square meter, but now it's only 130. So um, yeah, that's so that means some um, some project, um, even you built four uh, dwellings, the cost may succeed to mill, and they're still going to be sent out to the commercial team for assessment. But if you're going to build three or less, I think um, it's very safe in terms of cost. Um, so that's about the number of new dwellings. And the second one uh, uh, is for people um, who also have good uh, existing incomes from their jobs, from their business, and from their existing rentals. So this policy for people who can service the new loan using the existing incomes and also the potential uh, rental income from the new build if you're not looking to sell the property. You can sell all of them, uh, it's just the bank can't consider the potential rental income uh, from the new build. If you're going to keep some of the new build, then they will count the rental, price, uh, the rental income. So you have to make sure your income can service. If you can't service, but you, you, your borrowing is still very low uh, loan to value ratio, then it need to be assessed at commercial because a commercial can lend you more, but you have to do uh, pre-sell to sell them the property in the end. That's how you clear the debt, okay? Because you're not going to service a loan over 20, 30 years. You have to sell some of the properties um, once the construction complete. So that will still be assessed by the commercial. If you can service the loan with your existing income and the uh, new rental income from the new build, then you can use this new policy, okay? So that's really for people who have a good income, not a full-time developer, um, people who have jobs and business and existing rentals. 
Um, and the last one is who can get a fixed price contract. I know very hard to get a fixed price contract, but if you don't mind getting fixed price contract, because some people do mind, uh, it just costs them so much to get a fixed price contract. So for people who are willing to get fixed price contract and you can get a fixed price contract, you had a good income, um, you can only build um, you know, um, four or less dwellings, this is a fantastic deal for you, okay? So if you have a project like this, you think you may be eligible for this um, fantastic um, policy from ANZ, um, just give us a bell. Um, I'm more than happy to review for you and see uh, if we can get this um, uh, deal for you, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.